All right, what's up everybody? I know it's been a little while since I've made a video. I was actually watching some of my old videos the other day and I was like, man, I should really do another one. And um, update you guys a little bit. So the previous project, the Stampede uh, 4x4, I actually ended up selling just because I didn't really use it. And um, I don't know, I just didn't want it sitting around doing nothing when it's a perfectly good truck that someone else can enjoy. So. Uh, I ended up selling that and it's actually off to Colorado where hopefully the new owner will have uh, a little more fun with it than I did. But um, this that makes this my newest project then. Uh, as you can see, I jumped on the crawler craze and I'm not really a crawler kind of guy. Um, but this, this thing's actually pretty fun and you know, it being how it is right now with the weather and, and just kind of circumstances, we're still all pretty much inside for a lot of the time and um, thought I'd get a, an SCX 24 just to kind of mess around with. They're, they're pretty cheap, 110, 120 bucks. And uh, I haven't done too much to this one, but you will notice this is of course not the original body. This is a, I forgot what brand it is, an AMT um, scale, 124 scale truck body specifically a uh, C or K whichever you prefer 1500 from circa 1992 or 3 ish with cuz it's still got the older grill style on there and um i just kind of wanted to go over how i mounted it so um you guys have an idea and if you want to do this and pick up an SCX24 i mean the cool thing about this is being again that's 24th scale um, all the model bodies are going to fit on these pretty well as far as like wheelbase wise and, and width wise as you can as you can see it's essentially perfect I know the wheels are cocked all the way to the uh, uh, right there I don't, I don't know why that did that um, I don't usually like moving my servos so I kind of left it like that but for some reason when the battery was low it, it did that but anyway oh whoops um, so so basically, you know, there's there's some videos online about how people did it, um, and that's fine. But I thought this way was actually pretty, pretty interesting, pretty smart, and also more convenient than some of the other ways that people are doing it. Because this way, you can still use, if you want to, you can always go back um, and use the original body if if you want it to. Um, and this is a really nice body. I've actually debated selling it just because I don't know if I'll I'll use it again, but. It is a really, really well done body. And I know, sorry, the light, I, I know it's coming off like yellow for you guys. Um, please bear with me with that. But anyway, so how I did this is we'll flip it up. Basically, I used the stock uh, hinge system and just bolted it through the bed of the truck. Um, so what I ended up doing is I took these two screws out. There's one here on the other side and this hinge comes off and the whole body comes off obviously with that. And then I ended up using, you can see my lines still um, there. I ended up using some uh, double-sided tape to put this hinge piece on the body, uh, on the bed where I thought it would be close uh, wheelbase wise. And then just kind of set it back on the truck like this. I'll flip it around so you can kind of see, get a better idea. Right, so it's kind of sitting like that, and then you're, you're kind of judging the wheelbase um, off of that. But, <clears throat> but yeah, so um, I used double-sided tape and then kind of marked the holes and then just took a, a hand drill, actually, and just drilled through and then uh, mounted it and then put those two screws back in. And so now whenever I want to take the body completely off, it's the same thing. You just got to take those two screws out and uh, the whole the whole back hinge piece comes off and you can just take the entire body off. Now the front was a little more difficult. So the front, if we flip, flip this up really quick. Um, so the front you have your, your standalone, standalone body mounts, um, which work really well. And again, I wanted to keep in mind if I ever wanted to use the stock body or any other any other body made for the SCX24 uh, for that matter, again, I was like, I don't want to do anything permanent that I could only use the custom body that I'm, I'm making and obviously have still yet to paint. Um, so what I ended up doing is I kind of looked at the, the fenders for this truck and they actually lined up 
pretty darn well to um, where the stock location would be. However, the angle is a little off. So what I ended up doing, and it's worked out, oh my God, like perfectly crazy. Um, I flipped them over. So I literally just took it. It's sitting upside down, you know. I just took it, flipped it, put it in there. And then I took this little screw. If it would focus, that would be be amazing. I should probably get a new phone. Okay, yeah, there we go. I should probably get a new phone to have better videos, but anyway. I took that little screw, threw it through there. So what that is through is the original top part that you would put um, your clips through, right? So that uh, this part that's screwed in here is actually just flipped upside down. It's supposed to be the top piece that you would normally put your pins through. Um, and that gives me more height for uh, for this part because this is usually going down um, for your adjustment, but this way it actually works, it works in the same way, just opposite. Um, so what I did is I, I flipped these and the angle comes out to slightly wider when you do that, which again, in my case, using the body that I had was was perfect. So then you flip the body down and literally it just slides over and it's it's really nuts guys um so it slides over perfectly there's nothing holding it on the other under, underside it just kind of sits there it's actually it's probably just because i drilled the holes just so that just kind of uh, just kind of sits but yeah there's, there's nothing holding it under there um so and then the cool part is i'm not sure if i'm going to do be able to do this with one hand but the holes originally that are you know were originally used to mount it are obviously still there and so you can just use the body clip again and you put this you know through there and I'll try to get it on camera uh, this one you kind of have to push down but well it's being kind of fidgety with me but trust me <laughs> you just you just push it through there and this again slides slides down really easy and then I have a hood for this uh, somewhere. Give me one second. I have my hood over here. And if you can tell, these posts are just under, just under the, the hood line there. And so you just, you know, pop the hood on and oh my God, and bam. And it's like, it's, you don't see it at all. Um, it's amazing. Like it turned out way better than I thought. And so, yeah, the body pins literally just sit kind of right on, you, you obviously push them in and then they sit right on the uh, fender wells and you slide the hood over and I'm obviously gonna magnetize this when I'm done with it. I'm, I just haven't painted it yet, but you know, you just slide the hood on and bam. I mean, it's like, you would never notice. Like looking at the truck, it's like, I mean, yeah, you have these two in here, but I'm gonna paint the bed black. So you're never gonna see that. Or, I mean, it's gonna be very unnoticeable. Um, so you're never going to see that. And, uh, it's just a really neat way to mount this body. And now again, like I said, if I wanted to use my stock body again, it's really easy. Um, so like I said before, obviously pin, pin, right. Or body clip, body clip, whatever. Flip this back, undo, um, obviously take the entire body off first, undo these two bottom screws. Then with the body off, you just undo the screws I was just talking about. You just uh, these little screws right here, take these out, one, two, and then um, just reinsert them into the original body. Then the hinge will be back on here, that plastic hinge piece, hinges back down, and then all you gotta do in the front is um, just take this screw out and the other one on the other side, flip them back over, and you can use it uh, just like it's stock, like you never did anything. Um, so it'd probably take a few minutes to do, I mean, but, What's nice about it is the, you have the ability to do that and use the same, uh, your stock body, you're like, if you wanna use the new Proline, um, what's it called, the uh, Power Wagon body or any other of the SCX24 bodies that are out there, you can use them still with no modification while also being able to have your custom uh, model 24 scale body fit just perfectly after just a few um, kinda adjustments so yeah I, I was so happy with how this turned out I mean it's like dead on center too I mean you got the Chevy logo pretty much right uh, right in the middle there I wish it was focusing a little better um, 
but yeah, you got the logo right in the middle. I mean, it, it, it just, it turned out great. So, um, and then I'm still working on, obviously I have the interior a little bit, had to cut out some of it. Uh, I'm planning on putting the seats in there. You've got the door cards in there and, uh, yeah. So this thing's going to look pretty, pretty trick, pretty scale when it's all said and done. Um, but like I said, just wanted to share, just wanted to share how I mounted my SCX24 model body onto the chassis because again, I've seen people do it and magnet mounts are cool and, and that's all good stuff, but I don't know, it was always too much customization for me. I wanted something that you could always go back to uh, stock if you wanted. I, I just like that about um, things in general. I like to be able to go back to, uh, you know, I guess default, <laughs> you could say, if, if I want. So. Um, that's it. Feel free to ask any questions in the comments. I'll definitely try to get to all of them and uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'm, I can't wait to get this thing painted up. It's going to look sweet. I do have some other wheels and tires for it um, and I really want a set of the the steel RC four wheel drive wheels, but man, they are like sold out and on eBay they're like 80 bucks, which is ridiculous. So I'll have to wait a little more on that. Um, but yeah, this thing's coming along nicely. So I hope you guys like it. I hope you guys like the body too. I really like these OBS uh, GM trucks. They just have great classic lines. And uh, as you can see, it, it fits this chassis like it was made for it. Um, so yeah, that's it. Uh, hope you enjoyed this quick-ish uh, little video on my SCX24. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.